So hello everybody. Today I thought hell froze over as I learned Steinberg Cubase supports now the project. So an open standard which got first defined by Bitwig is now implemented in Cubase. So very, very surprising to me. If you have never heard about DAW project, what that does, I did an intense video about that, which will be linked down in the video description. But nevertheless, to give you a refresher, DAW project is an open format to exchange projects between DAW. So something people wanted forever and the solutions you could have so far were very, very limited. Limited. Either it was MIDI only or audio only or very, very restricted. And a DAW project covers basically everything you need. So you have audio and you have MIDI, so notes to be more specific. And also for audio, it's quite complete. You have support for events and clips, phase, cross phase, amplitude leveling, envelopes, panorama, also time warping is supported, transposing, and similar things for notes. We don't need to get in everything. There's also automation support and very interesting something no other standards did before was supporting plug-in states. So BST2 or 3 AU or also CLAP plugins will show up the same way in the other door if it supports that format for sure. But nevertheless, the whole state will take over. And this is very, very interesting. They also have some generic devices for things like EQs, compressor, gates, and limiters. So this could also be mapped quite identical in a different door and also between added clips and scenes. So I have basically covered everything that Bitwig can do besides their very native plugins which will not show up but if you stick to VST plugins or clap plugins you can transfer quite a lot or you create stamps and then you can take over them as well but nevertheless the handling is much much easier and I will show that also in a second what that means. Before we take a look at Cubase also let's have a look what happened so far so who is supporting this format as a that Bitwig had the first idea for that and you can read and write DAW project format in Bitwig. And there are also some things which are part of the standard which are not yet supported in Bitwig. For example, AU plugins are not supported in Bitwig so they are also not showing up here in the DAW project format. And DAW project also supports video which is not supported by any of the DAWs so far. I'm not fully sure about Studio One but I think think they are also not supporting them because there's a second application missing who supports that. So Studio One was the first one to join a party. So they basically did that together. And Studio One in the beginning didn't have clip launcher, but now with Studio One version seven, they also have a clip launcher and they support clap also with version seven. Yeah, basically you can transfer everything between the two doors and this is really working nicely. And I showed that also in a previous video about version 7 so also this video will be linked down in the comments. I did also I was also very interested in that format so I did all the project which can convert Reaper projects to DAW project and also the other way so this tool will also be linked down in the video description it's totally free you can download it and if you are a Reaper user you can convert from and to DAW project and therefore exchange projects checks between Studio One and Bitwig. So we had three to the party so far. And since Reaper don't have a clip launcher, I also implemented that you can roll out the clips of the scenes with their clips automatically into an arrangement. So also this helps you to bring over your data, for example, for mixing in Reaper. So this is one of the use cases you want to be creative in Bitwig, for example, and then do your mixing process in a DAW or which is more audio oriented like Reaper or maybe Studio One. So, and now to my surprise, as I said, today Steinberg announced Cubase 14 and they have support for 
Door project, unbelievable. We will check that out in a second, but what is for sure clear already now, so far they don't have a clip launcher. I suspect that it will support clips of scenes, but I also did not test that yet. So this is also something we need to check out. And they're not yet, not yet maybe, not yet supporting a clap plugins, but hey, they support the project. Maybe clap is next, who knows? So, but now let's jump in and have a look. So let's first have a look at a very simple project. This is a band recording, which we just regularly do. My band, Erilyn, we are jamming along in the rehearsal room and just recording some things. And we did hear some overdubs with the vocals. So this is a pure audio only project, but it's not full length clips with the same length. They have different positions. So this is something to check out. And I only have very few plugins in there as so to be exact. There is only a reverb and a delay plugin, both the Valhalla VST3 plugins and some sends go from the audio channel. We can have a quick listen. So no mixing done so far. This is just a little bit of leveling and a little bit of reverb and delay on the vocals and that's it. So the pure band recording and let's close that down and let's throw that project into my little tool, the project converter. So here is the project. We choose Reaper as a source and as a destination we want to have the project. Let's do that. So I need to select the project and not the folder. So here's the project. Now I'll try it again. Yeah, and now it's working. So when we are finally done, so let's close it down and let's fire up Cubase. And Cubase shows up here, this bro hub, whatever that means. And there's already the option here directly to import. Yeah, here it really is, DAW project. You see there's already the old firmware's AAF and OMF, which were not that capable and only supported audio, or you could import pure MIDI. But now let's check out how far we can get with DAW project support. And here is, yeah, where it is. It's not showing up. We should pick a folder. Okay, let's try that. Okay, maybe let's first put that in a folder. So here's a project. Let's name that. So let's name the folder DAW project test. Let's move the DAW project file into that. Maybe this will make it happier. <laughs> and again, let's try to import DAW project. And no, here we are. Okay, ah, okay, so I had, yeah, Cubis loves used to select folders. I never get the idea of that. And now we can select the door project. So let's do that again. Here we are. So I never tested this before. So this will be really interesting to see. So what's happening now? I don't know. Something happening. Okay. Two samples are missing. Okay, maybe they're really missing. Could be that I deleted them. And here we have the project. So how does it look? That looks quite similar. So here's the structure of the drums. That's nicely come over. Vocals. We have reverb and delay. So let's see, is there a plugin? There is no plugin. Oh, that's really bad. So not even VST3 plugins are showing up. Or is it clap? No, it's it's a VST3 plugin. So okay. So no plugins, it seems. And also no plugin here. So that's really a bit disappointing. So nevertheless, let's give that a listen. But has lost that sounds away. weird. Okay, it seems that's totally off and messed up. It seems to play it back at the wrong tempo. I have no idea why and everything is out of sync. Could be that it's not recorded at the correct 
tempo and maybe it's wrongly adjusted for that because we normally when we jam we just press on record and don't check out the original tempo so this could be the reason why but nevertheless i would expect it to sound it the same and this sounds just broken so we have to note no plug-in inserts so far and no correct arranging and no correct tempo so hmm, bad first start let's try something else so next test, this is a little song I've been working on for my Mossifier solo project and it has definitely a correct tempo, 84, there are no warpings in here as well, so this should definitely come over correctly. And we have here lots of plugins, everything is VST3, so no clap, so this should actually also work. So we have UE plugin, Valhalla again, Arturia plugin, and we have the Bitwig EQ. So this should come over as a generic EQ if that is somehow supported. So we have MIDI and audio mixed here in this project, but MIDI is, I think everything is deactivated already here put into render files so let's check out how that comes over but first let's give a listen yeah so just to give you an idea how it should sound and we can export a star project which is not so interesting to watch for you so let's get straight to cubase and again let's try to import that so as we now already know we need a folder for that let's go into that and then let's pick the actual file and here we go and here it is and let's see what's come over so we have here all the different drum groups we have here the bass so the tracks are all here also the mini tracks are there yeah let's why not let's give that a listen it's gonna be a Oh my, um, yeah, as you already can see, this is again totally messed up. It's not here on the beat. I don't know what's going on here. So it's 84, so tempo is correct. And I don't know why this is actually not working. It looks good, but uh, yeah, totally. Let's go to the beginning, what it's doing here. Yeah, that's definitely too fast. So the clips are played much too fast here. So there is basic bug, I guess, in here. So let's wait for the next update. Maybe they fix it. Let's see for that. But nevertheless, let's also have a look at the plugins here again. So there's no plugins whatsoever. Oh no, okay, sorry, I'm wrong. So here is Presswerk. Okay, one Presswerk, Valhalla Room came over and again here, but no EQs at all. So this is not supported. Nevertheless, let's have a look at, yeah, this looks like a setting for me. So at least that seems to work. I don't know why it did not work in the first project, but here this seems to work. But nevertheless, the basic playback is so far unusable, so it doesn't make sense to test this any further. But let's try the other way around. Let's see how we can export a project. Yeah, and this is a song from my band Erilyn again, which is mixed. And for that band, normally I still use Cubase because audio cutting of drums is, is a bit nicer than in Bitwig. And this is from 2022, so there might be missing plugins, but nevertheless, let's uh, give that a go. And let's open that, which takes quite a bit. And yeah, as expected, there are some plugins missing, which I uh, have updated since then. But nevertheless, let's... Okay, also the output needs to be fixed. <laughs> and maybe let's have now... quite 
quite okay-ish. We have some missing plugins, so it sounds different, but nevertheless, as a test, it's okay. So I guess export is also here. We can export the door project. And as you see, it's already here <laughs> because I'm doing this already the second time because first time my audio recording crept out and I am doing this now the second time. And I can tell you it took quite a long time. It took about two and a half minutes to export the whole project. And here it is. But I did not yet open it, so I'm still surprised how this will work. So let's close that down and let's close down Cubase and fire up Bitwig Studio. Here is finally Bitwig and let's open up here the DAW project. So here it is. Yeah, <laughs> great. Okay, uh, so much for that. <laughs> I, it seems there's still a lot of stuff to do, but uh, sorry, this is really disappointing that even the most basic stuff is not working. So what the hell is that? Okay, let's maybe do something wild and try it in Studio One. Okay, so finally we're up and let's see, where is it? Rain. Something's happening, so maybe we're in luck here with Studio One. Okay, here is something. Okay, this looks good. Let's give it a listen. Okay. <laughs> Okay, there's something basically wrong with Cubase Drop Project Support because also here the timing is completely off and the files are out of sync again. Come on, did they test that at all? I, I don't know. But nevertheless, let's have a look how the plugins look. So there are lots of plugins here. And this seems to work here, also sense. So, okay, so plugins looking good. Yeah, so let's call that a day. I guess there's still lots of work to do by Steinberg and I, maybe let's revisit that when they had their first update. But so far, I'm really, I have to say, this is unusable, nice try, but yeah. Studio One did a better job in that, <laughs> supporting that in their first version. Even there were also some issues, but nevertheless, give them a chance for the first update. And I guess this might be fixed soon. And until then, make some funky music.